Okay, hey. So I am going to start my exercise. Um, and then um, I'm going to give you an update on my weight loss journey. Um, but I really need to get to step in with the exercise first. Um, I think I'm going to do the three miler. I did two yesterday. Um, wasn't it two? Yeah. Two hard mouths, y'all. Two hard mouths. I say hard because I had videotaped myself doing the exercise, my exercise routine, and I looked like, to me, I was a slacker, even though I was very sweaty, and I know I don't slack purposefully, but um, with that two miles, yeah, I put a lot into that because, um, like I said, I didn't like the way I looked with it. Just trying to get enough light in here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do three miles, which I hate because it is kind of, it's very exhausting. Um, so, and plus it's just her. And so it's not as motivating because it's just the person who makes the videos and not her whole team. And the team kind of motivates me. Um, but I know I'm not up for a four miler and the other choice with that would be two miler. And I think I should do more than that. I did two miler yesterday. So, okay, um, I'll be back to give you the update on my weight loss journey. All righty. Woo! That was a good workout. So anyway, um, I'm going to give you an update on my weight loss journey. Um, just to recap, January um, of this year, 2016, January 15th, um, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, and um, at that time, um, I weighed 223 pounds. I had weighed over 200 for, I want to say, probably anywhere from I, at least 10 years, maybe more, probably 12, 13, maybe even 14. So um, that next day, I started my weight loss journey. I was put on metformin for the diabetes. Um, after a month, I went back for a follow-up visit. And from 223, I was down 15 pounds to 208. The doctor was really happy. Um, so then my next appointment was three months, because I think that's typical for diabetes, every three months to check your A1C levels, your sugar, glucose, and all that. So uh, after the three months, which was April of this year, I weighed, um, I was down from 208 to 187. So I had lost, I believe it was um, 36 pounds total at that point. And my next appointment, instead of being, and oh, and the doctor took me off of the metformin. And so my next appointment was for four months instead of three, um, which was last week, August 24th. And um, I had good news and mm, not so good news, but... Um, let me go with the not so good news first. Um, my cholesterol was up, which it was good when I was first diagnosed. Um, that and everything else was good except for the sugar levels. But um, it, 
and, and a vitamin D deficiency, but I take vitamin D for that. But um, so the doctor told me my cholesterol was up. She actually had her assistant call me, and um, and she said, but she knew that I could correct it. She was going to give me a chance to correct it with diet. So I had taken to eating um, three days that I am off. I have a three-day weekend because I work um, 10 hours daily. So um, my, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I will eat an egg and two slices of bacon and one of my of my special bread that's, you know, low in carbs, has flaxseed in it and stuff. Um, so I think maybe the eggs, all oh, these days they say eggs is not bad, so who knows? They change it all the time. But I think the eggs, the bacon, I don't eat that much cheese. Um, I don't know where the rest of it is coming from, really. But what I'm going to do, I have like about nine eggs left so I'm going to cut it down to um, one egg per week until they're gone and then I'm going to just not buy eggs for a while maybe buy egg whites and not do the bacon or maybe I'll do the bacon every once in a while but not three times a week like I had been doing so um, I go back for a checkup. I was supposed to not go back until January for my physical and diabetes check. Um, I guess because for me, um, that's really being managed well, which I'm going to tell you about in a minute. But um, I go back in three months for a check on my cholesterol. But my A1C levels were great, guys. Oh, in, in, in um, April... It was down from 7 in January when I was initially diagnosed to 7.0 to 6.0. Now, that is a big jump. That's just not like saying 6, 7. It's a big jump. And um, she had said if I could keep it down to 6.4, I would not have to get back on the metformin. And, guys, it was 5.8. Praise the Lord. She was really, really happy about that, and that's why I guess that's why she was so confident that I can correct the cholesterol issue. So, um, and I am going to, I don't know if it's going if I eat all nine of those eggs over a three month period, I don't know how different it's gonna be. <laughs> um, but when you consider, I probably eat a dozen every month. Maybe it won't be so bad. But if it's still kind of high, I will tell her that, okay, I finished off my eggs. Now it should be better. But and my weight, I was down, I am down from 187 to, well, on, when, on last Wednesday, I was down to 158 with my clothes on. And I happen to know that I am 155, guys. With my clothes off. Praise the Lord. So my goal weight, I keep changing it up and down, up and down. Um, I know it's gonna be um, um not more than 135 is gonna be my goal weight, in which case I have 20 more pounds to go. And but I have said I wanted to go down to like 120, 125. Now I'm thinking maybe, maybe 125, 130. So if it's 125, I have 35, 30 more pounds to go. So 25, 30, whatever, between 20 and 30 pounds. That is what I have left. Um, prayerfully, I will be able to accomplish that um, given the holidays are coming up. I'm going to be realistic. I My goal is, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, is to maintain and not gain. Everybody say it with me. Maintain and not gain. So that's why by Thanksgiving, I really, really, really want to be 145 
and or under so that I can go into the new year weighing 145 and perhaps have about 10 more pounds to go and so then on my birthday I will have shed um, those pounds and meet my weight goal so that's my update guys thanks for watching